Okay. It's still a little tough though, but better. Alright, so I wanted to try out this new system. Um, I saw it on dibay.com or dibay.co. Um, so anyway, this system is a prefabricated bar for your all-on-four procedures. And so they sent me a kit that wanted me to try it out. And so I presented it to this patient as a long-term temporary. And so I was pretty stoked on it because you can get a bar in there already without having to send it out and, and wait for several weeks for it. So anyway, I did the surgery and uh, check out how this, um, how this goes. I got all the screws. Yeah, I think that like um, one of the biggest things will be just removing some of that buckle and removing right here for the wire. You know, I get a burn just like right out there. All right, so the big thing with uh, with all on four bars, as you guys know, is passive fit. So, I mean, how do you get passive fit when you're bending the wire, right? So that was that was a really hard part. So even though we had the cylinders well approximated, there's still like little gaps. And so we're trying to bend it and just make little minute changes. And I think we got it very well approximated actually. All right, so we tried the bar back in the mouth with the patient here. And now the thing is we have to make sure that there's enough clearance to put the denture over the bar. And so we got to cut the cylinders down and we got to reshape them. Not only do I want it to fit over everything and still have our occlusion well, I also don't want the bar to be showing through. So I don't want it to be looking like gold on the, on the buckle. And so we trim everything down here. Um, looking back on the case, I probably should have used a opaquer at this point, but Anyway, it still looks like it's turning out pretty good. And at this point, we put the bar back in the patient's mouth and we pick it up with acrylic before we trim it up for the final conversion. Gently close down. Okay, now don't move, okay? Uh -huh. Don't move a muscle. Can you look, uh, I want to see this. Can you turn upside down again? Turn upside down. I think right there you can pin that part where your thumb is. Pin it a little bit. All right, so everything's delivered, and um, honestly, it was it was really interesting experience. I I want to say I like it. It was a lot of work though, so um, with anything new that you try, there's always a learning curve. Uh, with this one, the wire bending uh, skills really come in handy. So so you, you saw my, my dad in there. My dad, uh, he's an old school guy. He learned how to uh, bend wire for ortho. Uh, you saw Alvin in there putting in some work. And so as a team effort, it turned out really good. And I think we had a good outcome. If it was me by myself with no extra support, 
um, I might not do it um, unless I had a, a good volume of these cases patients I wanted to accept this treatment at a maybe slightly lower price seems like a really really good service for them but I would want some dedicated lab support that knows what they're doing with this thing so I liked it, it was a good experience, good outcome for the patient, um, technique sensitive. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process.